Welcome to my channel, Woke Words. Today I'm going to be doing a reading for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. I went ahead and pulled an oracle card to get an overall idea of the message that Spirit may be trying to tell you this time regarding the reading. And you got the number 35, Change. And to clarify that card, two popped out. Usually I only take one, but two popped out. So we're going to take it. The Sun card came out on top, and then the Seven of Pentacles came out underneath that. So with change in the number 35, 35 breaks down to 8. So that can signify that there is a change that is afoot in your life that's going to result in abundance, even if the change doesn't feel very good at first. And it could be that you've been kind of in this lull energy a plateau energy maybe you've been trying to manifest you've been planting seeds with the seven of pentacles and you kind of been waiting on things to change but spirit is saying that if you just keep going don't give up because the sun card is going to come in you're going to have complete clarity on why this change had to happen in the way it did even if it feels like negative change it's going to be very positive because the sun card is like the happiest card in the deck so we're going to pull a nine card block for you and someone you could be dealing with at this time and it's going to be three for the past energy three for the current energy and then three cards for the upcoming energy in the connection and we're going to clarify it with another tarot deck like a few of the cards and i'm going to read the left side of the square as the person you're dealing with and i'm going to read the right side as you but you can always swap the energies around if that makes your story fit better. For Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, we need nine cards. That one wanted to flip. So for the past, you get the Three of Wands, the Six of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles. In the, up, in the current energy, you get the High Priestess card, the Two of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune is another change card also. So this is definitely a reading about change coming into your life. The upcoming energy is the Chariot, the Four of Swords, and the Ten of Cups. The underlying energy is the Ten of Wands. So this connection that you're dealing with, you probably feel very burdened by it. It could be because you and this person just don't see eye to eye about certain things. But in the past energy, the person you're dealing with has the Three of Wands. You have the Four of Pentacles. And the Six of Pentacles is between the two of you. So, one, the other, or both of you. Read it, take it how it resonates. But with the Six of Pentacles being here, that's a balance card. But I feel like with one person on the right, which I'm reading as you, is in the Four of Pentacles. This is like if you were in the connection with this person, this person was waiting on you to open your heart to them. But you were in the Four of Pentacles holding back, guarding your heart, holding your energy to yourself. I know it's like the miser in the tarot, but when you're talking about a connection, this is guarding your heart while the other person is standing there waiting with positive expectation. Now, this could be totally opposite. This could be you waiting on this person to open their heart to you. But the, the, the connection between the two of you is the Six of Pentacles. So this is like breadcrumbing energy. So why would this breadcrumbing energy be there? Because this person is guarding their heart. So whoever is on the right side in the connection is the one who's guarding their heart. While the person on the left is trying to be patient and wait, okay, on this other person to open up. In the current energy, you get the High Priestess card for, for them, and then the Wheel of Fortune is on the right side for you. The Two of Wands is between the two of you. This is like a decision needing to be made about this connection. The person on the left is trying to use their intuition, and they may not be speaking. They could be keeping secrets. It could be about how they intensely they feel about the connection. But the person on the right is going through a lot of change. That's why I'm reading it as you again. It could be swapped around. I'm not sure. But this is the energy of maybe no communication. The period of time that someone is going through to make a decision about an Ace of Wands journey they need to take with each other or separate. But it could be with each other since this is a connection reading. 
But with the Wheel of Fortune being here, the change is going through the person's energy on the right side is this person is wanting to go from Four of Pentacles energy through change to Ten of Cups. They're starting to see this connection as their Ten of Cups. I see this as you. So this energy for the upcoming energy for the other person is in the Chariot. They're in the Chariot. You're in the Ten of Cups. The Four of Swords is between the two of you. So there could still not be a whole lot of communication going on between the two of you because you're both healing. So this connection feels actually positive. I don't know if it's a new connection or if it's someone you've dealt with in the past that's been going through a lot of healing as well as you're going through a lot of healing. But with the chariot card on the left side, the person on the left is going through a lot of change that is very much pushed on from the universe. It's quick change. This could be movement. This could be that you and this person don't live as very close together. Could be that you have to travel to see each other. Either way, you're starting to see this as the opportunity for Ten of Cups. You had your heart guarded in the past. You were closed off to this connection. And then that changed. And now you're starting to see that this could be a Ten of Cups situation. So I'm going to clarify the past, the Six of Pentacles is between the two of you. I want to clarify that. Because the breadcrumbing is because one person is trying to be patient and wait. And they don't want to overburden the one that's closed off like emotionally. So they're not just going to bombard you with like communication and stuff. So they're trying to breadcrumb you with positive intentions. It's not trying to breadcrumb you like player energy. It's more like the energy of not wanting to go too far too quick. So they're trying to hold back, be patient, and wait on this other person to open up. The one who's not very open is breadcrumbing in, in the one reason of they feel this connection's pretty intense. The Nine of Cups is clarifying the Six of Pentacles. The Ten of Wands and the Seven of Pentacles. That's that Seven of Pentacles again, the waiting energy. This connection is going through a lot of change because both people are wanting this connection but both people are going through a lot of healing here's the underlying energy so this nine of cups energy the reason why both people are breadcrumbing each other is because both people are trying to heal and get in this nine of cups energy this is the energy of not needing anyone to feel cold and complete within yourself this is very good energy the burden is that this connection is going kind of slow but both people are interested. This I don't see this as a player energy, and this could not even be past energy. I feel like this is a new connection. Both people have been through a lot of shit. It's kind of burdensome because they're trying to work on their healing. But at the same time, even though both people are trying to work on their healing and work on their nine of cups, they're both planting seeds for this connection. It's something that, something that starts off slow, will last longer usually anyway. So that's a good thing. But both people are taking it really slow. So it could be like a plateau energy right now as far as you and this person in this connection. It could feel like it's not much on the outside in the 3D world. It's going slow. But just know that you're both planting seeds in a positive direction. So I want to clarify this Wheel of Fortune energy, which is the energy that you're in if you're on the right side of this reading. Whoever's on the right side is going through the Wheel of Fortune energy. And I feel like this is a lot of positive change. That Four of Pentacles just flipped again. So the person on the right definitely has their heart guarded off. But they feel like there's something to this connection. So that's going to be their intuition is telling them that. So let's clarify the Wheel of Fortune for Capricorn. Get three cards. The Seven of Swords, the Page of Swords, the Five of Wands. Woo! So, I feel like the Wheel of Fortune and the change is the person on the right that's had their heart guarded. Okay? The reason is telling the reason why they've had their heart guarded. Why is the person... This could definitely be you. Because in the past energy, you have dealt with lying, deceit, and energy that you don't need to have your heart open to. Okay? People that just want to watch and be petty behind your back. 
the energy of not even communicating. This ain't even a knight of swords. This is a page of swords. They're quiet. They always quietly watch you on Facebook and stuff like that. This is the energy of childish competition. So the kind of connections that you're used to in your past are deceitful, lies, cheaters, people who won't communicate openly. They watch you from a distance. They're childish. They want you to childishly compete for their attention like a five-year-old, okay? But Spirit is saying, this is changing. What is changing? This energy. So that is what's changing. You are coming up on a time. It may not be tomorrow because you are currently in a healing situation. It's according to how far you are in this whole process. But with the Ten of Cups, look, there's a star card again underneath the deck. That's the second time it's been under there. You're going through a lot of healing. So it's not going to be something that happens overnight, of course. And if this is a past person, it's saying that this past person is no longer in that energy. It's a past person that's coming back in new energy for sure. If it is a past person, but I don't feel it as one. So I want to clarify this Ten of Cups card. No, I want to clarify the chariot. That's the person on the left side of the reading because we've already clarified one in the middle, one on the right. So let's clarify this chariot card on the left. Either that's the person you're, I think that's the person you're dealing with. Like I said, if you're the one with your heart closed off because you've dealt with sneaky assholes in the past, then there's a person that's patiently trying to wait you out. So let's clarify the chariot card for Capricorn. The Nine of Swords, the Hermit card, and the Ace of Swords. So see, this person is Eight of Pentacles underneath the bottom. They want to work on this. They're working on themselves currently. That's the energy they're in. But they want to work on this connection. And it does get to them sometimes. Whenever they go within in Hermit mode, it does get to them sometimes because they feel like you're slow to open up. But they're all about the communication with the Ace of Swords. They're all about having that aha moment that this is my this could be a Ten of Cups situation. It could be very successful. It's just according to who's free will and how you take it and use it. But both people have been burdened a lot in the past because I see the Two of Wands. I mean the Ten of Wands underneath the bottom of one deck and it's at the top in the past energy between the two of you in the past so both people have been in some very heavy burdensome energy from past connections and it looks like both people are trying to actively heal that so i feel like this could definitely be a successful connection if you just take it slow and i just had to flip that because it it was speaking to me it, it bent a certain way in the deck what I'm doing is I'm getting three cards from the universe based on the vibrations you could be giving off right now slash advice you need to hear from spirit. Three cards for Capricorn. And what did I say about the lightning reminding me of the tower? You got the star energy, the death card, and the tower. This is the energy of healing. You are in the energy of healing. You're in the energy of transformation. And the tower card is that I feel like in the past there was energy that had shaky foundations. I feel like you were in connections that weren't very stable. And so this person that you're dealing with is a different breed. It's just a whole different kind of person. You're not used to dealing with this person. If this person isn't in your life, I'm telling you based on the timeline you're on, if this resonates with you, as far as you doing your healing work, this person is going to show up. This person is trying to patiently wait and give you your space so that you'll be opened up organically to them. It'll just open up slowly and steadily, and it'll be solid and grounded. It could be another earth sign like you. All right, Capricorn, that's been your reading, and thank you so much for watching.